Hello everybody, it's Johnny from WP Johnny, and it's been a while, so let's get to it. Today I'm going to review the Breakdance website builder. This is pretty much a modern page builder, except only it also designs page templates like headers, footers, footers. Um, also the framing around custom post types such as like WooCommerce products, or whatever kind of custom post types you might have, you can design the template for it. Um, basically, like the theme. Okay, uh, it's different from the traditional page builder like Elementor and Divi in that it's supposed to be super fast, clean code, easy to use. We're gonna find out if that's all true. If you're not aware, Breakdance is made by the same guys that did Oxygen. So same team, Lewis Rangold and company. If you're not familiar, when this thing first launched, uh, there was a whole lot of controversy this year because Oxygen had a lifetime product model. So basically you paid one fee and you got to have Oxygen lifetime for as many sites as you wanted. Uh, the company promised that it was a sustainable business model that you would have updates and, and, and bug fixes and support and new features and whatnot, except only that didn't happen. For years and years, the loyal Oxygen users were demanding bug fixes, new features, um, and the Oxygen development team just didn't focus there. You know, there was simple requests like having an undo feature and other features that, you know, other page builders were building but Oxygen didn't have yet. Instead, it was the third party developers that was creating new features for Oxygen. And after what seemed like several years, Oxygen turned around and showed the truth of what they were really working on. They were just developing a whole new product entirely. So all the features that could have went into Oxygen, they just released as a whole new product where it had an ongoing subscription. So you kind of pay a, a yearly fee to have it. So it's a freemium thing. You get the free stuff. You can use it for free. Uh, it doesn't have all the cool features. And then if you pay 150 a year, you get the cool, the cool features. Um, obviously, it pissed off a lot of people. People felt betrayed. Um, users felt betrayed reasonably because, you know, um, they paid the money and they were given a promise and the promise wasn't delivered. Uh, how do I feel about this? Overall, I think Oxygen was being fair. Uh, maybe they just didn't communicate. They weren't being transparent and that's the bottom line, right? They could have said, hey guys, this uh, turns out it's going to cost us a lot more time in development and it's going to cost more money for us to continue supporting this and we need to switch to a subscription model. Instead, they just released a whole new product. Um, and we're going to review it and go through it and see if it delivers upon its promises of being easy to use, super fast, and having cool features for designing your entire WordPress site. I just want to tell you guys, um, today's review is sponsored by Scala Hosting. It's a really cool uh, web hosting company that basically have their proprietary control panel. It looks a lot like cPanel, which is cool for an old school guy like me, but also cool for anybody because it's fast and easy to use all in one page. You can see all the features and things you might use to manage your website. I like it better than, you know, the this modern uh, hosting panel where you're clicking around through a million different tabs, a million different pages. Uh, their S panel is really fast and easy to use. And the prices are quite cheap. The plan I'm using is the WordPress hosting plan, Entry WP Cloud. It's 15 bucks a month. You get your own VPS with lots of space, pretty good performance, and has their proprietary control panel built in. Okay, let's go straight to the plugin review. So first off, Breakdance is a plugin. It's a plugin. It's a page builder. It's not a theme. So Oxygen, I think, was kind of like a theme or I'm sorry, Oxygen was a plugin as well, but it took over your theme. So Breakdance can be used with an existing theme or, or it can take over the theme where you don't even see the existing theme at all. This is an important distinction to make uh, because if you, let's say you already have a theme with a plugin like Elementor or Divi and it's super bloated, then you will want, um, Breakdance will be easy to use alongside Elementor so you can slowly convert from Elementor over to Breakdance. Very helpful. 
Now let's go over here. Um, I already made a breakdance page and we're just going to edit it in breakdance. So first thing you're going to notice is that breakdance loads very quickly. My internet's actually being super slow right now, by the way. Okay, so uh, here I'm using breakdance with the existing theme. So as I add stuff, and I like how this is done. Sections, columns, divs, headers. This really te it teaches users how to like start out with the basics of building sites. So first you need a section, right? Which is like a, a dedicated vertical space. From here, you can start throwing in content. Um, and some of you would just put in a title or a logo or a header image or whatever the heck. Or maybe you want columns, right? You want to have stuff that goes side by side like this. On this side, we're just going to put some heading. There you go. That's a heading. Or um, as I like to say, title. Okay. Uh, then here, um, let's add. How about some text? Okay. That's some text. Over here, we're going to add an image. We're going to choose an image. Uh, an existing image from the image library. Oh God, okay, so there's no images, but basically you guys can imagine it and so forth and so forth. I'm gonna go back here again and how about we add another section. So there you go. And you just keep building your page. It's very easy to use. As you can see, as I click on certain elements, let's say I click on this section, I can start messing around with different features and settings, okay? Over here, we can see the structure. Over here, we can see global settings and whatnot. Um, I think in preferences, you can go to like light to dark mode um, and so forth. Custom fonts, exactly. So it applies. Oh, here it is. So this is kind of cool. All right. Super easy to use. Um, now, if we go down here, so we have the basic blocks. I'm just going to close this up. And then we have like regular blocks. Okay. Icon, pricing table. As you can see, some of these things are pro features. You got to pay for them. That's fine. Okay. Da, 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 da. Text colors. Whoops, sorry. Um, let's just go back to add. Here we are. So some useful things, some super useful and difficult things to make are free. And then some super useful, difficult things are not free. I'm kind of annoyed that that's not free. But that's fine. I think this integrates with Gutenberg and, and you can add it through there. Now, um, I'm just going to close out the all these blocks. Right, we got some site stuff like menus. We got advanced, okay. Uh, we have dynamic, so that means like it can output dynamic content, like uh, maybe a whole list of posts, like blog posts or products or whatever kind of posts, and you decide how you want it to display. Okay, these are like the WordPress uh, default forms, you know, like forget password, login, and then there's a form builder. Personally, I would use like Fluent Forms. That's how I would do it. Now. Let's save this. Let's uh, get back out here to WordPress. And I want to show you um, what if you want to use breakdance to build your whole theme. So I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to theme. I'm going to disable this. That means I'm disabling the theme. As you can see, I was using the one of like default themes. I was using like this one. Okay. But now um, let's go to the See, so now it's literally we're building everything from scratch. And if I go in here and, and work on uh, work from break the breakdance editor, you can see. So it takes up the whole page. Um, obviously, if you're building a theme, the right place to do this uh, would be from here, like headers. OK, so you can start building your header. Um, OK, this is going to be an everywhere header, main header. OK, and here we are. Edit in breakdance, and I'm also going to display another cool thing. So come on now. We're going to go to library, and how about we choose from like existing? Okay, let's choose from an existing layout. All right, so we don't have to completely build from scratch. I'm going to add to page, and here we are. Pretty cool. It's already built. I can edit it, I can mess with it, such and such. I'm going to go here and switch it back to light mode because I just think it looks cleaner. So right off the bat, um, Breakdance is really easy to use and it looks really easy. It's super clean um, and actually feels, feels more user friendly, beginner friendly um, in case we want to see comparison. So let's go do a comparison right now. I'm going to go activate Oxygen, right, which is their former product. And let's compare it against Oxygen. Okay. I'm going to go here. Let's go to pages. I'm going to build an oxygen page. Uh, brand new. Okay. 
Right. I have to save or publish. And then from here. Okay, cool. Um, whoops, sorry. That looks hella ugly. One second. Let's go back here. Here we are. And here. We're going to edit with oxygen. So oxygen is a little slower to load and can sometimes be super slowed. And then you see that the user interface is kind of dated, doesn't look as sexy, doesn't look as clean. And then you go here. Um, this is easy enough to use, right? Um, but if you look at like, where's the screens? Okay, I don't, I don't have the screens in front of me right now. But um, if you see like, if you, if you see the product tool, uh, oxygen is actually m much more cluttery once you start working around in it. Okay, yeah, you see this? It, it starts to look, it starts to look a little bit complicated. Um, it just feels, it feels more technical. So Breakdance is a solid, it's, to me, it's a better product, it's a superior product. Actually feels more integrated with WordPress, um, is easier to use. Now, uh, let's talk about who I'm comparing Breakdance to. So Breakdance is compared against Oxygen. I think it's a superior product than Oxygen. It's basically the newer, better version of Oxygen. And then its main competitor is Bricks. Bricks is a really cool product. Uh, it's built kind of like a one-man show by Thomas A. Rig. And he's kind of like, it kind of like reminds me of Generate Press with um, Tom Usborn. Uh, he's like a one-man show. It's not like a giant company. The pricing is really nice. I think currently it's still like, yeah, you pay once and it's a lifetime license. And they're very similar. It's like a very similar vibe. Uh, of course, Breakdance feels a bit more polished or you could even say a lot more polished overall. But really, these two have very similar features. Um, both very powerful tools. Zion Builder I, is another like modern page builder in that it claims to be easy to use and loads fast. Honestly, I haven't really tried it very much. Quickly is another one, same promise, easy to use, loads fast. Um, Breezy, another one, easy to use, loads fast. I think I've tried Breezy and it was a little, I don't know, not as clean in the UI. Uh, overall, how do I feel about Breakdance? The free is cool. Um, I think you can totally get by with the free. The premium, 150 a year, I think is a very reasonable price. Um, I like that Breakdance is easy enough for users and users to go in and edit stuff and change stuff around. That's really important. Um, and you know, for all you guys who are using Elementor and Divi and, and replying, uh, I'm sorry, depending on, relying on a bunch of third-party plugins and all that, I think Breakdance alone uh, is cleaner and easier to use. You know, it's it's not cluttery to move things around or figure out how things work. I think it's really easy for end users because Elementor, believe it or not, is actually not that easy to use. Once you start doing complicated stuff, it gets crazy. Um, I'm all right with Lewis Rangold saying, you know what, I want to make another business. I want to charge more money. He's totally fine. If he wants more money, if they want more money, they have every right to do whatever they want. You as users, you guys decide if you want to pay for it. Um, does it erode trust? For sure. I don't trust him as much. <laughs> Any day now, you can jack up the price or whatever. Um, but I feel like this business model is going to be more reliable for them, more sustainable for them. So I don't expect too much surprises. Um, I also believe that they'll be improving it a lot faster. And over time, you know, it, this is going to be their new product. This is where their brains are going to be focused. Um, okay, better than Oxygen, editor loads fast, clean UIs, nice advanced features. Um, by the way, about the Breakdance name, I love the Breakdance name. I think it's genius. Other people thought it was silly. No, um, I used to Breakdance, and if you know Breakdancing, it's basically a combination of similar moves or same moves, but you're doing different combos and putting them in interesting ways. So I get it, and I think it's genius. I really like it. Others... I don't expect you guys to be breakdancers, so maybe you won't get it and you think it's a silly child name, but personally, I really like it. Um, the main battle, yes, it's a breakdance between bricks. They both have that yellow black theme going on, and I will be covering uh, bricks, the brick builder, very soon. Um, anybody who loves oxygen, I think would love breakdance even more uh, for the price of 150 a year. 
I think breakdance is totally worth it. It's where all their energy is going. So I would recommend them. Um, I do like it. That's it for now. Um, see you guys soon.